Hello? Hello? Does this shit work? Tell- Okay, look, I- Hey, work. Wait, no, now it don't work? I don't understand. What if I do this? Eh, it'll work when I play it. Fuck it. How you guys doing? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Does my thumb still hurt? No, actually. It healed quite quickly. Now it just does that thing where you, um, you move it and you can feel your epidermis sliding around, sloughing around like the weak flesh that it is. You know, where you can, it doesn't hurt, but you can feel the, the edges going, and you're like, oh, gross, my body is disgusting. I wish you could just be all one piece. One piece. One piece of human. Just one. It is because I am old. Damn it. Mm. So today is Ashen Day. Uh, tomorrow there is a slight change. Uh, we're still going to be doing FF7. But before that, we're going to be doing a couple hours of a new game that's coming out called Stygian. Uh, I will be telling you more about that in a tweet and such tomorrow. I'll give you a couple guesses as to how I heard of it. Um, but that's for tomorrow. You back that this Kickstarter game? Really? Oh. Did not know that. Did not know that. Any plans to play the Ace Combat DLC missions? Nah. I just winked the wrong way? I totally did. You're supposed to wink with the eye closest to the camera, and I winked the wrong eye. Oh, fuck. What if I just do this? Is that good? Ah. I was playing Fire Emblem earlier. That's a good game. Wait, I did the Rowan Atkinson joke, but in real life? That's because the funniest jokes are real. The funniest jokes are the real life, stupid, that we live in. I remember talking to somebody, and I was doing this. I was, just, I was just closing one eye and then the other. And they're like, how do you do that? I'm like, what, what are you, what are you talking about? They're like, your eyes, you were able to, to switch them back and forth. I'm like, yeah. And I'm like. What do you do? She, and it was a, it was a girl. It was in high school. So like, I could only blink both my eyes at the same time. And I'm like, fucking what? They were like, yeah, I can. This is this happens every time I wink. And I was like, Was she blonde? She totally was. Her name was... Kathy? Maybe? I don't know. But I, I do remember this, this occurred in high school. Was she hot? Yeah, she was super hot. She was super hot, she was super blonde, she was super dumb. She was very nice, though. She was just kind of a spacey blonde. Um, ain't nothing wrong with being spacey. I 
I said the, th the same thing three times? That's no, I didn't. Wait, Quathy is not a real... Quathy is not a real name. No one has ever been named Qu been Quathy with a Q. That's not real. That's not real. Fuck you, that's real. I refuse that shit. I refuse. Why are you gonna go play Code Vein? Cause fuck you, why not? No, cause I, I did the surge thing and I was like, well, if I'm only gonna do surge one night, I might as well do uh, Ashen cause I hadn't played it and Code Vein and get that, get that souls juice, right? See how all the souls knockoff games are doing. They're doing better this round. Neo was a really good attempt. Surge 1 was a little weak. Surge 2 is considerably less weak. It's pretty good, actually. Code Vein, I've heard weird things. I heard people say the demo was ass, but then I heard people say that they were looking forward to it, so I'll give Code Vein a shot. Why not? Neo is straight up better than Souls. I was playing Neo earlier today. Would you believe it? Because I wanted to see the Souls juice. And I was like, this game's really cool. And then I started picking up gear. And I was like, fuck. I remember now. I hate it. I need to I need to get over the the weird statistical gear thing with that game. Cause it's Thorn, I swear to God, stop adding me with that fucking comment. I ignored it the first time, the second time, and I'm only referring to it the third time because you keep spamming it in the fucking chat. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No. No. I hate it. And then I played Destiny 2. Yep, that's that. Yep, that's me. See the Last of Us 2 release date? Yeah, it's in February or some shit. I don't like, that's not a big deal. If it was like tomorrow, it'd be like, wow. It's like, yeah. 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 Ah, Thorn, don't worry about it. I'm admonishing you so that you stop. No, that's not so that you feel bad. If I was admonishing you so you would feel bad, I'd get all quiet and not jokey and be like, and say horrible mean things that crush you to your core, but I don't do that because that's not good to do. Drop frames? Get the fuck out of here. I'm broadcasting at 6146 KBPS. That's, that's ton of those. At KBs. A second. Mm. All right. Don't don't call me Daddy Goblin. That's bad. I don't like that. That's that. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's thank some people. We're, we're gonna thank some people. And then we're gonna play some Ashen. Have I played or seen Ashen before? I've seen uh, the Easy Allies video review, and I played it for 45 seconds to make sure that it recorded and that this controller worked. In which I discovered that it has a really long, unskippable introduction cutscene. Uh. So that's, that's super. All right. I want to thank Drew PhD for two reasons. One, Drew kicked in five dollars, which is always appreciated. Two, Drew kicked in a significantly larger amount than five dollars because he bought one of my shirts. Thank you, Drew. So I got your shirt today and I realized that I can never wear it outside because it is gray and I sweat. This is true. This is true. But I feel like it is more on brand to wear it when I'm at home playing games all day, so it's cool. That is on brand. By the way, more of those coming down the pipe relatively soon. The logo shirts were uh, like the test thing to see if people, you know, gave a shit. 
people gave a shit a little bit. So now we're going to go into more esoteric uh, designs. The one we have lined up for the next one is a really cool design. I like it. It'll be a combo shirt. A me and Wooly combo shirt. It's going to look really good. You should buy it. Um, Billy Up kicked in $5. Thank you, Billy Up. Loving your streams on the podcast after five or six years. Some context about that Rick and Morty Borderlands thing. It's a mission in which you get a guy out of a toilet and you get a shit launcher as a reward. It's self-aware. I bet. Um... Striden was playing Borderlands 3. Striden and Saren have been playing Borderlands 3. And I asked them, Hey. Is that game good enough for me to hypocrisy myself and just play it because I'm bored? And Striden said that him and Saren stopped playing it cold. Because they just couldn't listen to one more goddamn game quest because the writing and the dialogue is just so bad that they were having tons of fun shooting the guns and getting the items but every single time a character opened their mouths they were like fuck 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 that is the biggest downer i have ever heard for a game ever It makes me bummed out. It makes me resent the game. <sighs> hey, Tiz86 gave a sub to Saltmeister, and I saw that in the um, in the chat when it happened. Saltmeister is very appreciative. Thank you, Tiz. Made somebody's day. Also, I obviously appreciate it. Um. Oh my God. The NLSS crew. I'm not personally familiar, but. I don't think it matters for this. And all four players turn voice volume down to zero. Fuck. That's fucking hilarious. Who is uh, NLSS? I'm really not familiar with that group. Northern Lion Super Show. Oh, okay. It's Northern Lion Gang. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, Agami. Sub for 17. You know what's really stupid? Have you guys noticed that I put my uh, keyboard here uh, when I do this part? Uh, even though I obviously don't need it. And I, I really just need the mouse. And then I, like, you know, move the mouse, you know. Eh. Hey, hold on. Hold on, I'm doing I'm doing thing. Get over there. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's better. Um... But, uh, and I just realized, like, I have it here, and it's literally just so that when I'm talking, I have my hands on this. And it makes me happy. I haven't put a tweet that I went live. Well, shit. <laughs> Oops. Ah, oh, shit. Oops. Went live and forgot to tweet. It's ashen time, guys. Beep boop. Boop. There we go. All right. Uh, guest, guest on the, the Northern Lion thing? Yeah, if I get invited, I guess. Don't. Don't. Hassle Northern Lion or his people to get me on as a guest. Nobody likes that. All right. Nobody likes that. Mm. I actually don't know much about Northern Lion, other than he's another Canuck and that he is also bald. And that he plays a lot of Isaac. And that people seem to like him quite a bit. Let's see, Star Otter kicked in five bucks. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm obviously not the best person to ask this question. But, important question, who is more of a twink in three houses, Ignatz or Ash?
I'm gonna go with Ash. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I'm not the fucking uh, certifier of Twinkitude. But, uh, but that seems, that seems accurate. I don't, I'm not getting that energy off of Ignatz at all. Ash seems like the kind of guy who'd be like, you 3D pig boys, or whatever, when reading his mangas. You know? Uh, let's see. Black Harlequin 13, sub for 5. Thank you, uh, Black Harlequin. So when will Pat Nixon make a comeback? You know what's funny? I was watching... was uh, watching Hot Ones last night, and I watched the Guy Fieri episode of Hot Ones. The show with hot questions and even hotter wings, and he, uh, he uh, the host asked Guy Fieri about Flavor Town, and guys like yeah, I had people coming up to me about Flavor Town. Oh yeah, I'm the king of Flavor Town, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And apparently he said it once. On an episode, and but it just blew up, right? Um, I I don't feel the same way to Nixon because I obviously did the Nixon joke like five times, but like that was a spur of the moment thing like six years ago. I have attempted to do the joke again, and I literally can't do it. Like. I, like, I don't know, I, I can't emulate the same voice that I did. So, will, when's, the, what's the Nixon thing? See, exactly. In the Silent Hill Downpour LP, I made a joke about Nixon. For some reason, former U.S. President Nixon would be giving a tour guide uh, speech at the Devil's Pit. And I did a pretty good job, I think, but I literally can't do it anymore. So let let tour guide Nixon live on in the past. If I have, if it if it rises out of me again, then yeah, sure. But if it does, yeah, you know, not much I can do about it. You would think I would be able to just do. Oh, do the grandma voice. <laughs> <laughs> Playing with your dolls again. But that's just Stamper. That's just, I'm just stealing that from Stamper. You go to watch uh, fucking Mrs. Penny Farts on Stamper's YouTube channel. It has almost nothing on it. And good old Stampers is just, shut the fuck up, Grandma! The puppets! Oh, fucking Stampers the best. Alright. Uh, that one game tester. Sub for a year. Thank you, game tester. Sorry to all my past depressing comments. Have a good night, everyone. Keep fighting the demons. I promise to never stop. You're quite welcome, and don't worry about it. Terminally capricious. Uh, sub for nine. Oh, bruv. Oh, oi, bruv. It's more nine month anniversary. Where should we name the sub baby, Pat? G Giles. I'm so happy it's been nine months. Here's to nine more. Thank oh thanks, bruv. Uh Snowbush, sub for ten. Thank you, man. Looks like somebody's getting the last five dollars of my fun money this paycheck. Well, thank you. But if you want I mean you don't have to do that. You can spend it on, on candy or like a like a fucking uh uh, a cup and ball or like uh like some batteries um 10 months down now to watch angry ginger while i genocide the elves dark elves that is they had it coming i'm just i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna touch that uh dollar man sub for 18 thank you dollar man well wow, i've been watching you for a long time now haven't i don't know what i couldn't say uh i guess i'll call sarah in a bench and try to promote fate some more nah still holding, holding out hope for it but either way have a good stream you ginger nerd ah you're quite welcome i will have a good stream thank you uh ghost body sub and so to karua for three uh ace sub for 16 thanks ace hey pat first dlc mission for ace combat 7 is out are you gonna do a stream of it uh final one launch is late november probably not sorry man furious furioso sub for 10 thank you furious Debug Draway Rye sub for sevens. Any plans on doing Death Stranding as an LP with Wooly, or is that too big of a game? 
probably be terrible to LP. That'd probably be a, a okay slash good game to stream. But I'm foreseeing LP channels fucking flounder with that game. I I'm like Let's say it was last year, and it was coming out last year. I, we would be sitting down going, do we even fucking LP that? Because that shit is going to be hours and hours of chilling and walking around. You know, I could see Wooly doing a fucking uh, two and a half hour, like, one-off video or something like that. When he's like a little bit into the game. And I, I'd gladly jump over for that. But I seriously seriously doubt that that game would be a decent LP stream that would work I'll stream it for a week maybe two weeks see how that goes yeah people you know, the M MGS5 LP had similar problems Cherub's Anonymous suffer 11 thank you Cherub uh, Rubber Fist Fight suffer 7 resub time did you ever do any more of Red Dead Redemption off stream yes I did and then I stopped uh, and then I got spoiled. Uh, after those two that you did. If so, what were your thoughts? My thoughts were that everything in that game takes too fucking long. And I didn't enjoy it because the input lag and the frame rate were just infuriating. Just infuriating. Like, it always felt like I was wasting my time. And... Like... All the times that I played the game felt like some annoying busy work that the uh, game devs put in in between their masterfully executed cutscenes. Like, you know how people joke about Kojima wants to make movies, not games? The game parts of Kojima games are fantastic. When you play a Rockstar game, the cutscenes are fantastic, and then you play the game, and it is not fantastic. Alright. Chichin Suffer 11 says, Hey, Catrick, here's to 11 months. Mmm, Souls Juice. Thank you. Uh, Nelson Suffer 11. What's good, Boomer? Of 11 months, that's what. Yes, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, I'll probably give Red Dead another shot when it's on PC, just because it'll it'll feel better. You know? Uh, Chatterbox91 used 500 bits. Thank you, Chatterbox. I'm playing a lot of Trop... Sorry, I've been playing a bit of Tropico 5, and I'd like to relay a story from a recent game of mine. Upon discovering the identity of a crime lord, I ordered him killed by the military. This, for some reason, triggers an uprising. While the loyalists and rebels, I, I ally with the Axis, which then prompts an invasion by the Allies. Whereas right my soldiers filling, finish quelling the uprising and turn to face the Canadians, I assume, three tornadoes spawn on top of both of us, winning the battle for me. F. That's crazy. Guys, I have a question. Is Celeste good... Because I played like an hour of Celeste. It drove me crazy. It drove me fucking nuts. Like. It's, I don't care that it's hard as balls. I got, I got it really, really, really far in Super Meat Boy. Um, no, my problem was... Is that almost every single level has b-sides and almost all the levels have a hidden door that goes to a weird thing that you have to jump up and then down and then left and then right and then do a cir circle loop to loop and then you unlock it and I'm like I just I just want to play through the levels Oh god, did you try and collect all the strawberries? Of course I did. That's why they're there. <sighs> the 
You don't need to do that. Yeah, but you, you do need to do that. That's why they're there. What, you're going to play Super Mario World and not find the hidden exits? Uh, Black Harlequin kicked in five. Thank you. Uh, do you still have Discord? Yes, I do. I still remember being in it a long time ago. Can I get a link, especially if they're custom emojis? Uh, you, it automatically links you when you have your Twitch and Discord uh, linked up and you sub. It's sub Discord. Uh, so instead of kicking me five dollars, fucking kick me a sub and then you get in like that. Come play them, those. Uh, Barbell Goose sub for four. Thank you, Barbell Goose. Appreciate it. Shoes sub for two. Thank you, shoes. That's like picking up every coin in Super Mario. No, it's not. Uh, Sentai, sub for 10. Thank you, Sentai. Hi, Pat. Just wanted to remind you that you're old, and that's hilarious. Love you. I'm not that old. I'm like 33. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not that old. I'm not, 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 I'm not. Wolf of Sound, sub for 10. Thank you, Wolf. Pat, please use your bumble fuckery. Take my mind off of... Wolf of Sound, fucking clarify this in the fucking comment, in the in the thread. What the fuck are you talking about? Pat, please use your bumblefuckery to take my mind off of having my face cut up by a doctor. That sounds bad. It could be good. But that sounds bad. Are you alright? Ooh. You got cysts. That's kind of cool. I've been known late at night to fucking uh, watch some cyst videos. Because I have a problem. Uh... Yam chop sub, thank you, appreciate it. Why? I couldn't tell you. L literally couldn't tell you. Dr. Pimple Popper, yeah, she's good. Um, uh,. So I used to have cystic acne back when I was younger. Um, and having a cyst is horrible. And you desperately, desperately want to get the poison out of your body. So that if you pop it, you feel relieved. And I think that carries over for your whole life. Or some shit. Like, it's, it's, there's very little difference between that and people who watch surgery videos. I think that's crazy. Uh, let's see. Bitch Guys kicked in five bucks. Says the fucking kids will love it. Yeah, they will. Pat, you're triggering horrific anxiety in me. I do that. I do that. You must all live with me and my goblin now. We are all the goblin. Uh, Stace McGate used five of the bits. Thank you, Stace. Pat is one of the old guards of Let's Plays. I'm not. When I st when we started doing Let's Plays, everybody was like, "Who are these new bitches?" Ah, it's all about the old guy. What? Anyway, is there anything about the modern landscape of it you just don't understand? Yeah. Uh, here's one. You ready? You ready? I don't get why people watch Let's Plays.
I don't get it. There is a there is a very common uh, situation with a lot of people who do a lot of YouTube work or Twitch work or whatever, and something that you'll find very common is that a ton of those people watch very little of Twitch and YouTube, and if they do, they watch content that is almost universally different from their own. I really. Like, one of my favorite YouTubers, legitimately, is Clemps. And the stuff that Clemps makes couldn't be more different than from the stuff that I do. And, on top of that, before I got into this kind of thing, I used to listen to The Hotspot and The Giant Bombcast religiously. It was my favorite thing in the world. And then I started to do a podcast. And suddenly, I couldn't stand listening to the Giant Bombcast anymore. Because you know that moment when you're listening to... Oh, this is really specific. When you're listening to Brad explain to Jeff why he keeps playing Destiny, even though Destiny sucks ass, and he keeps playing it, and then he convinces Jeff to get in on the raid, and Jeff's like, the raid was great, I fucking hate Destiny. You know when you're like, God damn it, I wish I could be in that room and be like, fuck off, right? Everyone gets that feeling. That feeling becomes so unbearably intense once you actually start doing a weekly podcast and you are in that room. And you are able to be in a podcast scenario and look at somebody and go, fucking stop it, shut up. <laughs> right? You, like, to go, to when you, when you roll back to, like, being on the outside of the conversation and not being able to interact with it, it's, like, extra... And also, it feels like, how do I put this? When I listen to podcasts nowadays, it often feels like I'm at the podcast. And it feels like I'm kind of working. And it's weird. It's really bizarre. Mm. Did I unironically say extra? Hell yeah, I did. What are you going to do? Tell me I'm not lit enough to say extra, bruh. So with that, dude. Oh. Oh. All right. All right, hey, Pink Suprende, sub for 15. Thank you, Pink. Uh, I'm Commander Supervisor, and Fate is the best media on the Citadel. No, it's not. Fuck off. Uh, Typhan, sub for a year. Thank you. Excited to see your first collaboration with Stu Stuart Ashens. Wait, that's not happening. Oh, well, thanks for a year of entertainment. Anyway, you're quite welcome. You're quite welcome. Dizza subbed, Danger Zone subbed, The Fish of War sub for eight, and McLeod90 sub for seven. Thanks, guys. Always appreciate it. Um... Umbi Poco Chan has something interesting to say. LPs are awful when people try. That's why SBFP was good. Because no trying. So, I don't believe that at all. Um, I think that there are some incredible LPs that I have enjoyed. I think that the uh, research indicates Jurassic Park Trespasser LP. Uh, is tied with the Kazo Todai San Francisco Rush N64 Tilted Cartridge LP for the greatest LPs of all time. Um, if you don't know what those are, 
just type in let's play Jurassic Park Trespasser or let's play San Francisco Rush. Um, let me go find it on YouTube. Let's... Let's play San Francisco Rush. It's the, it's the first result. It's 10 years old and it is by Kaz Taudal, who every time I mention it, uh, goes, what the fuck's happening in my video? Uh, but that game, that is the best LP. That is the best LP. Uh, no, there, and there was a guy, oh, I forget his name. I saw it years and years ago. But there was a guy who did this, exo a British guy, did this exhaustive LP of Silent Hill Homecoming in a choose-your-own-adventure style. And he would, he used YouTube amp annotations to uh, be like, leave the room or search the room or go fight the boss and stuff like, fucking crazy. So I wouldn't say that uh, LPs in which you try are necessarily bad. What I will say is that total indifference to your own garbageness is a quality. But uh, also, we we try very. I try very hard to do good here, and I did back at Best Friends, and I do on the podcast. You may not see it, but there's a lot going on in here. Haha. <laughs> um, only Sam Fisher sub for seven. Thank you, Sam Fisher. Ah, oh, that felt good. Seven months of supporting the Goblin Squad. I have exciting news. Me and my friends' video game podcast first episode has almost a hundred views. Good for you, buddy. Thanks for inspiring me to make a podcast with my friends. Congratulations. Oh, I went crazy? Ah, that's no good. Well, that video's 10 years old, so it predates any crazy that exists. Uh, Rasta... Oh, that's a tough one. Rastafarian UK. Oh, Rastafarian UK, that's why. Okay. Sub. And so does Solidarity. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. Also, by the way, I'm when I talk about, like, being in this line of work and, like, oh, the LPs and stuff like that, um... It sounds super crazy, and then but then if you get in, it immediately starts happening like that. Um, I still remember when I met Satch, uh, uh, or Grizz, um, that like he seemed really important. I had no idea who the fuck he was, and I bailed on the talk that he had at the Con Bravo opening, and then I ran and was like, "Oh, sorry, I had to bail on your thing. I had stuff to do." Who are you? And he was like, I, uh, hey man, I'm gonna, and I'm, he's like, who, who are you? <laughs> it's like, I don't really watch. He's like, nah. It was, it was a whole thing. And then I was like, then we hung out and we got drunk and we talked some mad shit. And now I'm like, oh, I love that man. He's a good man. I love him. Uh, and Caleb hates games. Kicked in $5. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Let's Plays are just a more frequent podcast substitute for me. That makes sense to me. But now I'm emotionally invested in you and Wooly, so I must consume it all now. Stay cool, Pat. Oh, no. Emotions. Oh. That's, that's strong. I don't know if I can deal with that. Ooh, that's strong. Hey, I gotta get up. Oh, I had some more. Ha! We're gonna be trying something new on the stream slash uh, emotional podcast hour but I'll ha I have to get up and go get it I'll be right back Hey guys. Hey. Hey, what's up? So, we're going to have an experiment in which today I'm going to experiment 
with putting a big piece of plastic into my body. Known as a water. That's fine, I guess. Clear bowl? Come on, that's stupid. That's dumb. All right. Ugh. Now, oh no. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Like, yeah, we're not gonna do that. That's that's a dick. That's just a dick. That's no, we're not gonna do that. That's that's not that's not today's stream. Is that a very large water? This is a two hundred milliliter bottle of water. This is a two hundred milliliter water. It's the one that you would get in the 24 packs of water. It's very hard to uh, carry it home because I am so small. <laughs> no, it's 1.5 liters. It's 1.5 liters. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's hop on over to the video game. Good looking video game. Good looking game right there. I'll tell you what. Mm, this is a good looking game right there. Okay, hold on one second. We're going to hit the. Oh, that's the wrong button. Okay, we're going to hit this. Yeah, look at that. We got it. Okay, so it's it just it does that shit when it's when it's closed, okay. Okay, so if I open it up There we go. There we go. Alright. Where's Omo be? He's upstairs. He was screaming real hard, and then I went out and and uh kinda uh, kinda kinda laid on the you know when you you know when you you know when you're just like the people who have pets get this, and you're just like kind of bored, and you go up, and your your dog or your cat's on your bed, and you just kind of like lie down, and you just kind of hug them, and you pet them, and you like lose like a half hour of your day, but then you get up, and you're like, <sighs> feel good, feel good right here. So that's the last time I saw Elmo. That was a couple hours ago. He's still upstairs. He's sleeping. Somebody asks, um, did the game get PS4 controller support? And the answer is no. Or rather, the answer is I have no idea. I'm running this through Steam. This is an Epic Game Store exclusive currently, but I'm still running it through Steam so I can get the controller support that I like. So, with that being said, let's hit settings. Graphics. Yeah, okay, that's not... No! I... Eh, whatever. You guys can see it, doesn't matter. Audio, that's fine. Or subtitles. I want my subtitles. That's a lot of subtitles. Controls. These are fine. All right. All right. So this is a weird fucking character creator. Oh, that's actually pretty close. All right, so the style, feminine or masculine? I'm gonna go with masculine. Hairstyle. <sighs> there's only there's only one that's even close to bald. So I can go. I can go with short hair or bald. I can go facial hair. There is no full beard either. 
but there's this. And I like how it wiggle. Yeah, hair color down to red. That's actually a really good red. Uh, one of the things that really frustrated me about uh, Astral Chain is that it had anime red. And I'm like, I don't want fucking anime red hair. I want red hair. You know? That is not brown. That's not brown, you fuck. All right, and skin color, uh, one off from the pastiest. See, I am actually the pastiest, but I find that if I put my skin color as that in games, I look like a zombo freakazoid. So. Guys, it's fucking red. That's brown, that's dark brown, that's red. That's light brown, like. Fuck off. I'm gonna fight all of you. Look, it's more clear when there's hair. Look. Look at what that is obviously red. That's brown, that's dark brown, that's red. <sighs> Why do I even talk to you people? Well, gotta get that the fuck out of there. Among get the, fuck the out stars, the ashen fly. Beneath the nine realms move among the tree of worlds many branches. Proudly standing upon the darkness, its roots delving into caverns where light will never venture. It was when a single great ash flew down to rest upon her boughs that the light woke among the realms. After eons, I going crazy the or great stupid? ashen grew weak with age and fell from the tree of worlds, resting upon the plains of darkness. Drawing what few breaths remained. In the throes of death, the light dimmed, and the ashen Birdly. final three breaths became the three golden. Is this game huffing light. its own farts? Maybe. The first age saw three creatures Maybe. of the dark plains rise above all others. The elder dark fed upon the light and thrived. The second marked the coming of the listener matriarchs, titans who revered the light. The third breath was the age of man, Geffen's children. When the final breath ended, there would be a time of darkness in that black. Screamlord asked me a good the question. Of man fell into is there anything in which I can think of in which the light is bad and dark is good? Proud Lathyrus, proud and I can think of one thing immediately. Ash. I can think of Hollow Knight. From dust to flesh, from darkness to radiance. Soon, the Ashen will be reborn from the ruins of its old body, and a new age of light will begin. I served the Ashen long ago, a guardian to its waning light. 
even though it broke me with its brilliance. Now, look to the mountain peak, for that is where fresh hope blooms. Wow! The ash is reborn. Behold the first glimmer of the light that will sweep the darkness from these plains. So, this game's art style is fucking awesome. Does anybody... Oh, you want me to turn it up? Really? Alright. Um, it reminds me of Grand Stream Saga. If you guys know that game. Is this the week of shilling? No. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. But not for this one! Alright. You thought this is Absolver 2? Oh, that sucks. This Absolver's a cool game, but... It's just not... It's just not, you know? So this is where we run forward and everybody goes, wow. Hey, Mar. With shadows, you are. Okay. Is that the whole thing, the bird? Look at that birdie. Hey, item. Yeah, I'll pick up an axe. Fuck yeah. Wait, what's better than the axe? Oh, this is better. Well, shit. Oh no. So I've been playing enough Surge that I... Can I, can I play the game, please? Sir? Hold on one second. So we need to change one thing. I want to change my uh, PlayStation controller configuration to something very specific. And I want it to go. I think that did it, maybe? Or maybe it's being finicky. No, turn off Epic Game Store. I don't like you. I'll use you, but I don't care. Eh, it looks like share button's still stuck on this. Oh well. Well, thanks, I guess. Alright, plank shield. Ashen is a two player game by default? Weird. Why would I use this? Does it have a higher crit chance? It does. That's why I use that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, no backstab. Ooh. Okay, this is pretty fucking normal right here. Oh! 
Just a real jump. Look at that. Well, that's different. Hello. Ash suckers, nothing but trouble. Wait, why are you running away? A sensible, actual main character. There are those that thrive in perpetual night and would extinguish these fledgling rays. We must find the Ashen and protect it from the Elder Dark. Okay. I'm getting hit with some light juice right now. You know what I'm saying? Well, that was a bit abrupt, wasn't it? It was kind of a bummer. Yeah. 